Okay, guys, time to go. Sound the alarm. Abandon ship right now. Go! We are abandoning ship right now. The crew scrambles on deck. You're sinking. The amount of time you have to take action is very short. You start to grasp the reality that this Mother Nature will wipe you out without even a second thought. They're trying to board the lifeboat, but the list is swinging it away from the deck. It looked like it could have been the Grand Canyon. There was no way people were going to jump from the ship into that lifeboat. Third mate Gene Kelly knows the ship could turn over at any second, taking the lifeboat along with it. Kelly saw a stack of life rings. And he threw them out into the water, almost as if he were throwing discus. I had a daughter at home. I had a wife, I had two dogs, and I had a good life, and I wasn't, I was not gonna uh, get swallowed up by the ocean. Moments later, the massive ship begins turning over. I remember Paul Dewey was reaching over to haul the lifeboat closer to the side of the ship, and it was at that point that I saw Paul reach and tumble over the side. He was the first person that I saw go in the water. And as the ship was rolling, I could hear people screaming and yelling. And I could see the smokestack starting to come down on top of me. I don't know where it came out of. A primeval scream, and it was from my mother. It was, ah! Kelly is thrown into the freezing water, wearing only a life jacket and the clothes on his back, as the Marine Electric completes its terrifying roll. 